Hi, my name is Pop. I am making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics and Spreadsheet Basics showing how to use a pivot table in a spreadsheet. I am demonstrating this with LibreOffice Calc. LibreOffice Calc is a spreadsheet in Linux Ubuntu, but probably you will be using Microsoft Excel either on a PC or on an Apple Macintosh, but it also works, of course, on Lotus 1, 2, 3, and Quattro Pro. Virtually every spreadsheet now has a pivot table built into it. Originally, when spreadsheets were first developed, there were no piv pivot tables, and this was calculated by means of some keystroke recording that's called a macro, and it was played back and it was so popular that they just added it in. But it's an advanced feature and people are afraid of it a little bit because it seems like it's complicated but it's not. In this sheet, sheet 1, I've got two columns, people in an outlet. And there's two guys in outlet 4, two guys in outlet 3, Fred and Tom are in 3. Jim and Ralph are in outlet 2. And the word pivot brings to mind twisting around. And you might think that the pivot table has something to do with twisting the data, and you are correct. However, it's not the same thing as transposing a spreadsheet. Transposing is far simpler. I'll demonstrate that very quickly. I'm going to grab and copy from A1 through B7 and I'm going to go edit copy and then I'm going to go down to A9 and I'm going to go to edit paste special transpose OK and see all I've done is re-represent the data by twisting column to row and row to column. Now that's not the same thing as a pivot table. In LibreOffice Calc the pivot table function is up here in data and I've got to change my focus now. I'm going to look at this in a different way it's located in data and data pilot but I'm not going to go there yet because actually in order to use a pivot table you need a minimum of I would say three columns so let's get some more columns I'm gonna go now to the second sheet where I have added some more data I've added a column of dates and a column of sales so if you look at row 2 bill in outlet 4 on 1-1 one one sold a hundred dollars and so on. There are two lines of bill, three lines of Ed. Ed sold on 1-1, one 1-2 one, one and 1-3. One two lines of Fred. Jim only sold on one occasion on 113. Ralph sold on two occasions, three occasions, and then Tom on two occasions. I will now add even yet more data by opening up the next uh, sheet. And here are the costs. Pretend that now you are the sales manager and these men work for you. They may actually not even be aware of the costs, but your job would be to oversee all sales. And so you certainly are aware of the costs. In fact, you want to know how much money you made. So I'm going to subtract cost from sales. And that's easy enough a calculation. We're going to subtract E2 from D2, you can see it up here, equal D2 minus E2. And then the next line down would go 
D3, D4, and so on. Well, now I can begin making a pivot table. And we go to Data, Data Pilot, and Start. It begins by outlining and selecting everything in the rectangle. And you say, OK. Now, before doing that, I want to bring your attention to a couple of important facts. Each column has got a column header. It's not data. If you look in A1, it says person. In B1, it says outlet. Those are column headers. It's not data. And then if you'll go down column A, those are row headers. Those are the names of the guys. And then everything else in there is data. I'll hit OK. And now you've got this very imposing looking data pilot grid. And this grid is what causes people to stumble and I'm going to take you through it. Before doing that, why don't I enlarge it? I will go like this. Data. Data pilot start. Current selection. Now it's on the whole screen. We've got a convention already and I'm going to use that as a memory device. When we name a cell, we go column first, then row. We go letter of the alphabet, then number. Letter of the alphabet, then number. The up and down thing, the column is named first. The row thing is named second. So with that in mind, I'm going to name this data pilot sheet by whatever's in the column here first, whatever's in the row second. So if I put person in column and outlet in row, I'm going to call this data pilot person outlet or PO. Then later when I make another data pilot sheet, and if I put outlet up here and person down here, I'm going to call it OP. That's just something to do to help you remember. Up here, I'm just going to put date in page field. You have to put something up there for a reason. If you, you can actually make the data pilot without putting something up here. If you don't, every time you try to modify the data pilot, the information is lost and you start over. This way, if you fill in everything, at least in LibreOffice Calc, you don't have to start over again. I'm just going to put sales down here. So I'm calling this PO, and I'm going to hit OK. And there is our data pilot. I've got P person O outlet. And I'm just going to name this thing now. P O. That's the name of this. And look what we have here. We've got Outlet 2, and it shows that Jim and Ralph work there, and it actually adds up all of their stuff. It's cut off a little bit. Outlet 3, there are two men, and it adds up their stuff. It adds up everything that Bill did 
everything that Ed did, and so on. No, no real difficulty there because Bill only worked in outlet number four, but later I'm going to get more complex with the data and you'll see the beauty of this. What we're doing here is limiting the information and focusing on it. We've got too much information and we're consolidating it. Okay, let me go back to this spreadsheet and I'm going to make another data pilot. Start current selection. Now I'm going to go O P and I'm going to put date and sales and hit OK. Now the information is arranged in a different manner. Outlets up here instead of person and persons here instead of outlet. And look what we have. It adds up what the outlet sold and over here it adds up what the person sold. Now I'm going to rename this OP Well, let's get more complex. I'm going to, with your permission, change the focus of this. And maybe we'll see it better. I'm going to go back to data pilot. I'm in the data pilot and I'm going to go back to data pilot and I'm going to start and it shows the stuff we've already got. It doesn't make me start over. And that's because I put something up here in page fields. And I've only got sales in the body. But let me put in costs. And let me put in sales minus costs and hit OK. And you can see more information this way. Bill sold 150 which cost 80 and he made 70. You can quickly change the data pilot around. Let's just remove sales and remove costs and just look at profits. You can quickly see who is the profitable guy and who is not the profitable guy. Let's go look at the other data pilot and do the same thing. We're going to add in cost and we're going to add in profit. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's kind of it's kind of big. There's a format you can do. You can go select the whole business format column optimal width OK. Now we see it better. Here's each outlet's sales, their cost, their profit. But again, let's go to the data pilot and remove sales and costs.
Now here's just our profits. This is the same thing that we've got on the other data pilot now. This is person outlet. Let's look at outlet person. Same information. Bill 70, Ed 205. Bill 70, Ed 205. You can add things to the filter up here and filter out stuff. For example, instead of just leaving data up here, oh, I don't know what we can put in there. Let's put in sales and costs. We can just look at one day. He was the only guy working that day, apparently. But on the 15th, look how many men were working and how much money came in. Who made over 130? Who sold over 130? Down here we're only showing costs. You can look at so many different pieces of data, it's unreal. Now let's go back to our sheet. Imagine now that you're the CEO and or the sales manager and instead of just having dates for a few days and instead of having dates for uh, outlets, uh, three outlets, imagine you have 1,000 outlets and imagine you have 10,000 employees and you're trying to make sense of this data. You want to figure out who to move, who to promote, who to fire, which outlet to shut down, which outlets to expand in a certain area of the country, which outlets need help, which outlets are exemplary. And it's not just sales and costs and profits. You've also got in there rent, lease, product lines, this tool is the beginning to playing that game which is much, much more interesting than Worlds of Warcraft called CEO. CEO has only got a few people playing it in the United States. There's a lot more people playing sales manager. But this is a tool that can help you play that game well. My name is Pop and I have a whole bun bunch of other YouTube videos that show how to do a bun Ubuntu basics and spreadsheet basics and a few other things and I thank you very much.